Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Star Destroyer Gaming, and we are back with another divisional guide. Uh, I know it's been a while, but I really wanted to bring this back uh, because recently uh, I have been absolutely loving the 35th uh, Soviet 35th uh, Guards Armored Division. Now, this is the one of the I believe this is one of the two first divisions to come out with the game. It was, I believe it was this division and the U.S. 3rd Armored. So these are counterparts to each other. Both of them are heavy assault divisions, but in particular, I mean, this division is a heavy assault division. This division is made to break through the densest enemy defenses, and it is really made to just do a absolute ton of damage to the enemy. And... It's just really fun to use this division and just slog right through the thickest resistance. Uh, we're on a 10v10, and I chose a very dense, uh, combat-heavy path here in the hopes of getting some really fierce resistance to uh, really let this division shine. So we're going to kind of go through uh, what makes the division good, how you can use it in combat, what its uh, advantages are, what its weaknesses are, and uh, just overall a general sense on how it should operate and how you can kind of use this these guys uh, to their best effect. We're going to take, actually, I think two of these lighter cards here. We'll bring those up, and uh, we do want, let's see, we already brought up some AA, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more of this uh, Metis armed infantry to the front. So the first thing that you'll notice that is probably a little bit peculiar uh, for you guys, and actually we'll get some uh, logistics up too, just because we have the time to, and we'll run those guys up. 10v10s, obviously. A little bit more pressed for time to make sure you can get everything properly into position. Oh, there they go. Okay, so our forces are moving up to the front line. I'm hoping to uh, face a lot of enemy opposition here. Uh, this is always uh, generally a really good area for some heavy fighting. So, going through our tabs, logistics tab, um, I took all the logistics you can currently. That takes the form of 20 MTLB, no, no FOB. Uh, 20 MTLBs and 10 Euro uh, 4320s. These are great counterparts. These guys, I like the most. They're slow to get to the front line, but once they're there, they can supply infantry, tanks, whatever, and take mortar fire or artillery fire and mostly survive, like little armored turtles. So much better for supply. These guys have more supply, but takes them a lot... Uh, and it takes them a lot faster to get up to the front. If you need a tank repaired and you have nothing, move one of these up, it'll get to the front a lot quicker, but it will die to a sneeze. Uh, Infantry-wise, pretty standard uh, Soviet infantry tab. What makes things unique here is that almost all the infantry are a significant amount, as you can see. Oh god, we have War Dog here, which is a the Territorial Commando. Looks like they are dropping off some troops here with these Hueys. That's interesting. Uh, so a giant airborne landing. I'm very tempted just to bomb them. If I, oh, if only I could, I would drop a huge bombing run right there. And then we have that guy with the numbers who is an American armored division. So looks like a good mix of opponents here. Let's just move these guys up. They're about to encounter, I think, a huge amount of infantry. Interesting rush there. I don't think that's going to be very effective. And we have Crone, who is playing Third Panzer Grenadier. Ah, the temptation to bring. The temptation to not bomb. And, you know, I'm actually, I'm going to fall to the temptation. I'm going to bring one of these planes here. Take these guys out. Let's go ahead and get these uh, T-80s up, T-80 BVs. Get our recon up as far as we can. It's just, it's too juicy. It's too juicy here. Look at this. Oh, and War Dog, is this AA here, possibly? I don't, I don't see any AA systems, uh, so interesting they've chosen to not do that. We're about to have a big infantry threat here. So this division, you know, heavy armor, its main purpose is to fight on open ground. Uh, I mean, that should be somewhat obvious. So fighting in forests, like around here, against a, like a Turk Territorial Commando Division, is really not a good way for you to spend your time. Uh, you're going to lose, and your trading will just not be very efficient. So you want to try to avoid that, which is why I'm sending in these helicopters to try to do the work instead. 
In they go here, hoping that these guys can get some good spotting in on them. And prevent those Milans from just tearing us up here. Let's get these guys a little bit more up to the front. It looks like we are pretty much all in position. Let's move these guys up here and to knock out any vehicles and to secure some good recon positions. Is that an airplane? Is that an air? Oh yeah, look, War Dog knows he's. I, this plane's gonna die either way. So let's catch it. Get the missiles off. Come on. There you go. Come on, get him. Oh my God! Extremely lucky there that we didn't actually lose that guy, and I'm very unlucky for War Dog because he's about to take a lot of casualties here. We got the Milan team. There's another couple of them, but I'm going to focus on the infantry, just on whatever I can see, because I don't know when another plane's going to come in. Nice. A lot of damage there. Let's move in and uh, use that minigun, and we have our other chopper with a full ammo load coming in now. This guy is wanting us to attack. So I'm waiting to secure these flanks here before we move in on that front. Rockets going out. That must be the lawn team. I think we should be getting another air. Yeah, here comes another aircraft coming in on us. Yes, we were not as lucky as last time. We'll pull that back. Oh, nice. That guy got that guy, though, with the AA hits. Nice. Uh, let's get some more AA up. We'll get a Tunguska. This is uh, one of the divisions that comes equipped with those, which is pretty cool. There we go. Yeah, hit that Milan, please, if possible. We've got our recon all the way up here, which is just great. Love to see it. Looks like the range is a little too close to use the rockets there, so we're going to pull this guy back so he doesn't get destroyed. I feel kind of bad for War Dog. Get that opener. We... We had to kind of, uh, we had to kind of, oh, there we go. Here's one of those Milan teams, lovely. Nice, good kill. Or actually, did we get it all the way? I don't even know. Okay, let's move some of these BMPs up to this sector here, and they'll give some uh, good long range fire support. And these guys do have their anti-aircraft armament still, so should be able to knock that gazelle out no problem if we don't get intervened on by uh, his planes again. These guys are in good positions. Uh, let's get some conquerors out here. There we go, nice. Okay, let's pull back. We don't want these guys. Or, oh, it's too tempting. Let's try to engage that Milan. Actually, those tanks have it. Let's stay away. Let's not lose our helis for no reason. Let's get logistics up to get these guys refueled and rearmed. And uh, we've got good positions here, so we need to have infantry up uh, manning this gap here. And we will actually take regular infantry. Little team of RPO and Motostrelki up here. Okay, looking good. So as I was saying, uh, infantry tab, we have lots of BMPs. Now, BMPs are interesting units. Obviously, you want to bring a lot of them in a division like this. They're a complement to the tanks. I like the BMP-1P. It's very cheap, 35 points. Um, I use it for the AGTM. The AGTM is pretty terrible. But as long as you engage at range, it can't really hurt. I like using the AGTM. Using its gut... Oh, see, look. Occasionally, maybe we can get a kill here. I don't know. I don't think in this case, if we were there a minute earlier, we could have gotten that. We could have gotten on in there. Alright, let's take turn this off so that we don't get uh, ganked by aircraft. And we're going to move up our tanks into this gap here. Because it's time to uh, send out the main force to do what the main armored force would usually do in a situation like this. And I'll move up the recon BMP as well to give a little bit of support. So we're just going to wait very quietly here and just wait for the enemy to come up onto us. Uh, we're going to get another BMP unit up here to uh, secure this area. So yeah, BMPs are nice as a complement uh, to your tanks, but you definitely don't want to be using them uh, alone because they have paper-thin armor and, and Abrams of any kind. Oh look, there they go, they're retreating. Will tur can turn and sneeze and they will be destroyed. Uh, so you definitely don't want that happening. 
might be getting some rounds off on that Gepard, on that Jepard. Nice, good hit, good hit. Armor penetration coming in clutch there, I see. And looks like uh, these helis are getting rearmed and refueled. You know, let's just keep pushing here. Yeah, I'm getting a little nervous, but let's keep pushing. Not seeing any effective counter right now. We're hitting them with AGTMs right now. Nice, we knocked out one of those guys in their trucks. Come on. Oh, so close. I love knocking out infantry while they're in their vehicles. It's beautiful. Okay, we do have enemy uh, AGTM Apache coming in, so we're going to pop all of our smoke and move back. Literally no reason to mess with that. Need to get more supply up here. We've got this infantry ready. We're going to wait just a little bit more. We probably should have just let this guy actually cook. Just go ahead and engage. That would have been fine, but anyways. Looks like we did a good job of savaging this guy's most recent infantry wave. So, as I was saying, multiple times, infantry, good, um, pretty standard, BMPs, just don't use them at close range. If I put these guys here and an Abrams came out, they would die instantly. I mean, there is just no, there is just nothing you can do about it. So, you definitely have to be careful, but long range, I think BMPs are a great complement uh, to your armor. Let's turn these off here. You know, we'll move this guy up. So it took us so long to get these Motostrelki going here. I want to... Uh, I need to make sure the smoke... Once the smoke on these guys is restored, then we're good. So, waiting on that real quick. Actually, we'll get this guy up and take care of that. Or try to. Let's see about engaging that sniper team with uh, my helis and getting some rocket kills with them. That should be pretty fun. Depending on the AA uh, situation near the enemy. Looks like we're slamming them with artillery. And we're going to buy a Buratino as well to hit this town with. Um, so facing this town, right, this is a, a very complex defensive position. You have enemies probably here, enemies here. And you've got the town, which probably has Stinger, Infantry, probably has Recon, and probably has Toes inside of it. So a tough position to crack. On top of which, it's certainly our tap tanks lurking around, plus four helicopters. So, oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage right there. Very nice. Just kicking War Dog out. I feel kind of bad. He's he's had very little effect this game, just because I've been in the right place at the right time. Okay, let's stop. We don't want to get killed by AA. We do want to be as effective as we can. Looks like those are friendly, or yeah, those are friendly mortars. It's hard to tell there for a second. And then we'll pull back to this position again. And we'll stop that guy, get a truck up there for him. So, oh, it looks like this guy just surrendered, so we're about to face a big armored thrust, I think. And that's perfect because we can just use our tanks against that, so. Let's just go ahead and start pushing. One group this way, or a group this way. Uh, so, artillery tab-wise, this is a heavy division, and it has heavy artillery to boot. It's got lots of good stuff that uh, you can bring to the table that uh, is also uh, definitely a lot of fun to use. Uh, particularly Buratinos, absolutely, uh, absolutely will devastate your opponents. Let's stop these right here before the AGTM Apache gets under range. Um, then you've got Askaya medium artillery and gets Valadika light artillery. So great artillery complex, great if you're advancing and uh, you know there's some enemy HTM tow to whatever in a building. Perfect thing to have in your arsenal because you can just start na uh, nailing them with this artillery and you can use the Burotino to knock out more heavily armored town type areas. Okay, we are engaging successfully. Let's get this Burotino back. To, or, actually, let's turn that off before Wild Weasel wild weasels it oh man we're actually taking some pretty heavy pressure here we have to pull back on this side kind of multi multi faceted managing everything right now because there's a lot going on this pressure is making us pull back let's get a uh, snab up there to get those guys repaired and I really want to try to nail one of these helicopters here. There's just so many targets 
for my uh, Tunguska and my tanks, and I'm like loath to stop right now. Okay, yeah, we are taking a good amount of fire there. There we go, we're getting those grounds off. Smoke it up there, no reason to lose the tank and the connection. Lovely. Okay, I'd say that was a pretty successful, I call that like a little sortie there, you know, so. Pretty successful sortie. We'll pull back. We'll let the sky cook a little bit more. But mostly we want to pull back to our supply. Okay, good. Pull back. We'll get some more supply to meet him here. Yeah, these guys are not doing too well. Heavy damage. We'll have to pull this artillery launcher back as well. Uh, Red Dot Dead has brought the heavy armor to support War Dog, so we're in a little bit more trouble there now. to assume some defensive positions here. Get ready to repel attacks at maybe close range. Oh yeah, there we go. Those close range attacks that we were anticipating, here they come. Gosh, that guy only has one health. That sucks. Pull back. Okay, good. They smoked. They got scared. We'll stop these guys, get everybody up and repaired. And this guy's all out. Let's sort it back. And let's try to get... We just need infantry buttressing this up. I don't want to move tanks into that close range engagement zone there. Or they're going to get wrecked, probably. Yeah, definitely want to watch out for that. And we'll pull these guys back to, like, let's say back here. And give them a little bit of supply. And actually buff them with some cool machiki. Looks like our artillery is supporting us. So infantry nice, artillery nice, tanks here obviously is where this division shines, they've got a ton of heavy artillery that's really going to be uh, just, you know, just great for really bringing the fight to the enemy. Let's get this trucks up and get these infantry healed. Um, so you've got your T-62 M1s, I'll cover these last actually and you'll see why. You've got your T-80 BVs, these are like your main, you know, your main battle, you know, your regular main battle tank, which are just great, uh, you know, for all of your regular main battle tank needs. Uh, we're going to pull these guys back because they're taking too much fire. And I don't feel comfortable getting these tanks into close range that's like that, that, that close is too close, so let's try to get them out. Hoping these helis can do some damage on this infantry here. Looks like they're actually going to focus on the tanks, which is kind of okay. We're actually going to get another, our last heli up here. These guys are out of rockets. Hopefully they made the enemy reconsider their decision, but we don't know all that much that can actually materially affect things right now. So we're in the full retreat now. Uh, just because there's a lot of pressure coming in onto us and we're just low, low on infantry. Okay, let's pull back as much as we can. These infantry are ready to go, so we'll move them back up to the front, kind of cycle. It's just kind of some basic tactic, uh, tactical maneuver there. Get these guys resupplied. guys are all set to get their motor strelke up and are unleashing a torrent of missiles at those trucks. Nice. Got one of them with infantry still inside, I believe. Okay, now we wait. Taking some fire there from that Kanonen Jagdpanzer. We are reasserting control over this sector. Get this guy back to the rear. These guys have some of their rockets replenished. Yeah, this pressure here is pretty strong. We gotta clear this out with infantry. Let's actually get some more RPO infantry going here. And some more of these guys. Now, as you can see, we kinda have more BMPs than we kinda know what to do with. Like, you know, we don't have a lot of long-range stuff to cover. I guess we could pull them back to, like, here. Actually, that's just, like, that's a fine thing to do. And we'll give them some recon to complement them here. I'll actually put the recon up in here. So, 
get a nice AGTM screen of long range BMPs back here. Just perfect as your second line defenses. Don't have them in close range, it will not go well. Okay, we'll pull that guy back because he's empty. Okay. Enemy, it seems, are concentrating here in this sector. We'll move these guys up, and you know, our tanks are good to go. So we'll start. These guys do have a little bit of damage. We'll move up our BBs here. And I think that these guys should also be good to come in and start savaging these enemy positions with rockets. Yeah, this is just a big infantry push, so we're going to try to hit them with rockets as hard as we can. And it looks like, uh, what is this? Crone, who is a human player, is pressuring them on that side too, so getting a little heavy. Things are getting a little heavy there. Our infantry are holding strong, despite the Jaeger onslaught. Our tanks and helis are all combining to uh, yeah, deal that nice damage. Lovely. This guy's out of rockets. We'll pull him back. That guy's out of rockets. We'll pull him back. That was terrible. We just did some horrendous damage to these guys. That was a little hard. Okay. Very good. We'll pull this back while we're at it. Let's get four more of these snaps up to resupply them. Artillery is constantly falling. And there we go, we have Kanon and Yag Panzers. We're engaging at long range with our tank HTMs, trying to pop them. taking some more effective fire there. Actually, that's pretty strong. Looks like we're about to lose these infantry here to that fire. That's coming in. These guys, fortunately, are still alive. Try to get them repaired and this group of infantry out. Try to secure this uh, sector of woods here. Oh, uh, y'all better run away. You're gonna die. Okay, we do have the MI-24 here, still ready to jump into action. Ooh, and a CV infiltrating from this side of the map. Let's do what we can against that. These helis are really doing the work, keeping these guys off of our backs. The rockets are really helping keep these masses of infantry away from our positions. Oh, there we go. We have high-level Abrams here. Uh-oh. I left him here for too long. Now they're getting wrecked. Wow. Sheer luck that that guy survived. And let's go ahead and pop smoke on him. Because... Oh, there we go. A also popped smoke. That's a gentleman's truce there. Yeah, we'll pull those guys back. We're going to throw uh, some of these troops here. I think Pull Machiki are particularly good at buildings, you know, because they just have to sit there and engage. I had a unit. Here we go. These snabs are finally getting to the front line. I totally forgot about these guys. Yeah, things are getting a little hectic now. seeing a lot of pressure here. Uh, they're probably building up again. Crone is fully engaging. Slava Pure and this guy, and, uh, three pl uh, elements at least, of three players on that side, so I guess good on him for uh, managing to engage that much attention. Now I know that we could not use our helis again or they're going to get wrecked, so let's not do that. But we do want to have them in the air at least so they can respond. Okay, this guy's all empty. We have a lot of point reserve, but we're still pretty micro heavy. So let's go ahead and get some arty going. And we will use these to um, put them on auto fire. 
just to kind of support our general uh, dispositions. Okay, good kills there on those guys. Nice. Hoping that these repairs can kind of keep up with the rate of damage here. We'll swap you out for this guy right here, and we'll send the infantry moving up through here to see, search or destroy any targets, any infantry moving up. I would like, if I had everything my way, I'd love to have a big tank battle happening back and forth, but the enemy seems really focused on the flank here. Makes sense, because that's the kind of division that War Dog is, so um, we have to kind of oblige that. We have to focus on the flanks, because you can't move up here without having the side secure. Taking some decent arty fire here. Let's put these guys on fire at will and they'll just support any teammate, any teammate within mage. Doesn't even matter to me. Although I think one of our other teammates is getting on the counter battery game, which is nice because that artillery, well, at least part of the counter battery game because that artillery has really been messing with us here. And this guy is empty and this guy is empty. So we'll pull them back. Lol. Okay. Let's move you up here. Cope. That's what we call coping and seething. Alright, move these to here and these to here. And if those Yag Panthers are still there, I think it's time to use our much superior T80BVs to really put an end to that. Let's kill that Kanon. Actually, we could just kill that Kanon and Yagpons with infantry. I wonder how this tree line is doing, if there's enemy units in here or not. Because if so, I'd love to move these BMPs up to here. In fact, I think I will move these up to here right now. And we'll get our T 80 B tanks up to this position here to. Provide a little bit more accurate support, along with our Resvedka BMP. Up they go here, just waiting to see who they'll engage. And as we can actually probably pop these out right here and get some good damage in. There we go, we got a roll on three. Let's get smoke out before that Kiwa hits. Oh, the Kiwa got our uh, tank, probably from the side there. Hoping these Strelas can take these guys by surprise and knock these guys out. Especially because that roll on three is down, uh, I think our helis might be able to pop in. Especially in these AA or anti air helis. We'll see how the Strelas do, though, on this uh, opportunity here. I don't really care. I'm not really like prioritizing what they're hitting, what they're not hitting. They can just hit whatever they see. I don't care. One bit. There we go. Guys got both targets that I was looking for. Nice, and took that out. That was beautiful. Oh, we do want to pull this back. They are clearly taking some fire. There's a second Roland run away. Oh, it might be about to knock it out. Not quite. Okay, those guys are still alive, apparently. Let's get our Spetsnaz Gru out for some good spotting. This guy's suiciding his guy here into the enemy to spot. Lovely. And we have some extra points. Let's go ahead and throw... Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. I meant to buy two of these. We'll go ahead and see add the enemy positions. Our helis have been very active, so I'm sure that the enemy uh, is more than likely to be uh, keeping all of their AA on for the moment. That guy pushing for no reason. He's an AI though, gotta remember that. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they can target anything. And 
we'll peel away early because we don't want to get caught lacking. Did not manage to engage anything, but that's okay. Made a problem. Pull this guy back. Now, I think it's about time to get that toss one Buratina ready to shoot on that town. So we're going to pull up and see what kind of damage we can do there. And we'll get our recon up to here. And yes, I would like our tanks to move up this next level. Because the area is ripe with targets for us to hit. attack beacon. It's possible oh man, here we go. We have a Kanon Yag Pouncer, that Modos, that Me uh, Metis should be able to hit that pretty easily. Engaging at range here against these other targets. Things are going just fine. We're actually doing perfect here for the goal of heavy armored push. It's going perfectly. And yes, let's go ahead and hit that town area with that Buratino. Let's actually get another one up if we can. Now we'll pull this guy back quickly and we'll actually get another couple another pair of those up here these BMPs here just serving as our rear line defenses let's go ahead and move this pair up here I think their smoke is out but that's okay okay I don't know what kind of damage that's gonna do uh, if it was destruction we could actually see what we're taking out we don't it looks like we're at least taking out some retreating trucks, if nothing else. I have no clue what's back there, but that just tends to be a really dense area of enemy defenses, so... Okay, let's pull that out and get some extra supply trucks ready to go. Oh, yikes. Yeah, that thing's having a little trouble pulling out. We should not have fired that right next to a Tunguska, if possible. Got that Apache there. That's pretty scary. It looks like we survived, if just barely. Where's our helicopters? Let's engage on this flank. I forgot if they had a Buratino or not. I don't really know. Or, I mean, I forgot if they had another Roland. But we're gonna, if they do, we're gonna try to suppress it here. Oh, there we go. Almost got him. There we go. They're dead now. Oh, those guys really should be on return fire. Come on now. All right, let's push these infantry back. Make them regret their life choices. These guys definitely need some resupply too, so let's try to get that going for them. Oh, yeah, pull back, pull back. Oh, we did forget to pull these back before they got caught lacking. They're going right over enemy defenses. They might make it though. I don't see a lot of fire coming at them. We'll see. That guy's almost empty. Anyway, let's gain control of that tree line zone there. Or this crossroads. And oh yes, this guy obviously should also be back. We really need this cluster of units here to be replenished because they are not combat capable. You can really see what a supply hungry gas guzzling division this is. It's really coming out here. For sure. Sure, yeah, you guys can run away too. You guys probably don't want to be around here. That guy's all empty. Okay, let's see if we can surprise these guys. Some side shots. Red Dot Dead's got quite the concentration of armor there. We got the CP down. We're pushing back the enemy control of the sector. Lovely. Getting uh, rounds into that Abrams too, but not doing a lot to the M1HA. So, I think that it's about time to talk tank-wise how our tanks stack up. So, we got our T-80BVs uh, with the uh, anti-tank uh, anti missiles, ground anti-tank missiles. And you've got these T-80Bs. The only difference between these two... Let's pull these guys back. Too much damage, too much damage. Uh, the only difference is the 35 points for three extra points of frontal armor and one of side. So all that this is, in my opinion, is a 
quote-unquote tank destroyer version of this. They're mostly comparable. They can both fight against heavy resistance, but this is a little bit better because it has more functional armor. So usually I'll deploy a pair of these forward and a pair of these back uh, to maximize what I'm paying for, you know, for the same effectiveness. Because this is just as much firepower as this, just less armor. So something to uh, keep in mind as you're uh, considering how to employ your units. This guy's almost done. I'm just going to... That's pretty much where I want to hit, so... Supply trucks back. Back, I say. These guys all need resupply. Good, uh, great recon. Great recon there. We're gonna actually get a pair of our most expensive. Actually, no, we're gonna get BVs up. Not our most expensive tanks. Not yet. Uh, let's actually get some more supply up too while we're waiting. So, these are these tanks, the mainstay of your formation. They're all up vetted highly as you can see because I want them to be the most effective as they can be and then we have two TADUs which are just the premium, even more frontal armor, better anti-tank guided missile, the reflex, very strong, you know, very good uh, overall unit, overall just something that you can definitely count on to do a lot of damage, um, but obviously sucks when you lose them to like an A-10 gun run or something, it's very sad. Uh, okay, three of you go there, one of you guys go repair these guys. Turn that off in case we get C added. Uh, so that's pretty much your tank composition. And then you also have this command tank. High value, can put, we can push right into heavily defended enemy zones. And then this guy. This guy is what I call a gunfighter. When I look at Soviet tanks, there's like regular tanks, and there's gun. There's their, you know, missile arm tanks, and there's the quote unquote gunfighters. Uh, kind of like the the plane, like whatever is the last gunfight of the Crusader. Oh, I had to. That's just too hot to watch. Look at that. Boom. Come on, get another round off. You can do it. Oh, that side shot pen is beautiful. Oh, we almost had him. The M1HA just has too much frontal armor. The T80BV is honestly not crazy good at engaging um, those kinds of enemy targets. Wow, look, these are all, all got reduced to empty. Absolute gas guzzling monsters. So these Soviet divisions are gonna freaking eat up your supply like crazy when you're using their tanks because those missiles are gonna be automatically resupplied. I wish I could turn those that off as an option, but you can't. So even if they just fire off one or two missiles and no gun rounds and some fuel, the supply cost is really high to get these guys back up and running. So between that, the Burotinos, the helis if you're using them, I mean, you are just going to be munching through your supply like crazy. And they'll waste their AGTMs on all kinds of random stuff. I mean, and look, both of those missed. And then boom, two more missiles fly off into the ground. I mean, it's hard to get your value out of missiles. You're just going to be throwing missiles at the enemy willy-nilly. And, and who knows if it's going to be effective or not. It doesn't really matter. Okay, up they go here. Wow, the heavy fighting here is really heavy. You can actually see that they've clearly, uh... Let's move our helis up and try to get a good side side attack in. You can see the war dog has redeployed. Oh, and sparse new player. Some crone and war dog. Instead of fighting here, is like, F it, I'm going to go over here now. And we'll get our Buratino to open fire on this sector and hopefully not, uh, smoke out those tanks. And we'll get another Buratino up as well to uh, really, uh, really cause some pain here on the enemy. If I were them, I'd be pretty unhappy because they are about to not be having a good time. And I'll move up our BMPs here. We want control of this tree line definitively. Happy to just sit here with these T-80s and just plink away with the missiles. Terrible on supply. And when the missiles connect, the odds are they won't really do a lot of damage. But uh, you can get kills with them, so it's fun to, go ahead, it's fun to play as. That guy's not doing the best. He's about to get reinforced pretty heavily here. Come on, let's try to take him out if you can. You've almost got him, guys. Come on, one more point of damage. Okay, we're gonna smoke up. That guy's out of missiles. That guy, you can keep shooting, I guess, here, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm pushing right now, buddy. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Smoke up, smoke up. That was sheer luck that we survived there. 
We'll pull that back. And guess what? We got two fresh tanks ready to deploy here, which is beautiful. Where's our AA? We'll push it up to right here. Oh, I totally forgot about these guys. Wow. Very low IQ move. I was too busy microing my tanks. Oh, that one's still alive somehow. I must have gotten routed. Oh, well. Oh, we lost the other one. That sucks. But it's okay, I guess. But speaking of which, let's not lose our tanks to this Apache here. As usual, we are out of supply. As per usual. Come on, let's get that Apache AGTM down. gonna get a command tank up into this sector. It should be pretty fun. See, we don't have enough supply to re refuel these. Once these are empty, it's like, sorry, like, we can't, we can't use these anymore. These guys are done for. They're now machine gun nests. Uh, just because we've been reinforcing our front and stuff so intensely. So we still got our two T-80Bs and then our two T-80BVs. Oh, three T-80BVs technically because we lost one. Right, right. We'll stop that guy right in his tracks and actually pull him back. Let's get the Strelas back too to avoid the effects of that artillery. And get those up to make sure that guy's ready to fire again. Uh, I have another salvo here ready, and I'm not sure what to use it on. We could use it on the town, we could use it here, it's hard to say. So, I think I'm going to save it until probably a better time. But anyways, our infantry are 100% chilling right now in the woods. No opposition. Not super inclined to try to bring the enemy out to fight in this case. They're sitting uh, menacingly in the trees. Let's try to actually take the. Let's try to take that guy out close range. RPG, RPG to RPG. And we got even more points, so we're gonna buy some more artillery. This will run dry after a couple minutes, but you know, it'll put the pressure on the enemy, right? There we go. One, two, three. C is moving. We are moving in hard now on this sector. We've still got these spare BMPs. We have not been losing many of them, but which is good. I mean, we don't want them on the front line. Oh God! Look here they go. They're about to start. I was gonna say they're about to start wasting their missiles here, engaging random targets, like random these snaps that you, know, you don't need to waste missiles on. Obviously, that's why I'm little. I'm keeping them moving right now so that they fire automatically. I'm like, please don't use your missiles on those. My goodness. That back. Don't need the RPO to engage there. Wiping out friendly recaptured <laughs> supply trucks. Oh, here we go. We have an Apache about to come over the ridge there. I just noticed it. Hopefully, that means this Tunguska will get a chance to shred it. There we go. Uh, AGTM to AGTM. Mass Milan duel. Let's smoke it up. Make those guys lose their footing. Also, that guy's damaged, so I don't really want him engaging like that. Uh, if only we could get to gun range here, we could really mess those guys up. Holy cow, and there's the Apache. I'm really trying to engage that thing. And it just will not come up over the hill, which is smart. Oh my god, there we go. Double uh, hit by the Milans there, knocking out. Smoking up. Okay, let's pull. Uh, let's pull this back. We'll have a pair of T80 BVs there, and then we get our T80 here, a T80 BV. Okay, almost.
almost out of supply now. Almost out of supply. But matches in its last phase now. Too bad these don't couldn't last an hour and a half. I'd love to see what would happen in such a such a case. Ooh, wow, okay, it looks like. These guys aren't even leaving. Those guys are really confident. Well, I might use the Burrettino on them. Well, that seems not very necessary. See, it's like there's that Apache there. It's like I just don't think I can really effectively take it. I could try to suicide the Make 27s onto it, but I don't think that's a good idea. I'm gonna try to do a run here and see what kind of AA is out so that I can spot and destroy it. Okay, TADBVs, what do you see here? Let's go ahead and engage and uh, take the enemy out. Alright, looks like these guys are repaired. This guy's actually Slava Pure is moving up into the town. Oh, I forgot again completely to, uh, you know, actually have them withdraw in a timely fashion. That's just uh, per usual. That's just the usual situation. Although I ordered the strike like five minutes ago. Oh god, no. Oh, please, no. Come on, we can stop them. Don't do that, please. Chasing that Apache, which is now over here somewhere, probably. Oh, there we go. We got a high level leopard there. Let's get our two 280 BVs there, and then uh, these guys, which are a bit of a mixed force up on this side. Oh, this guy actually took a hit. I guess I'll have him smoke. I don't know what hit him, so always better to be cautious, in my experience. Oh, it must have been that beautiful Milan there, which is not going to have a good time in close range against a an actual tank, obviously. Hoping that we can get that leopard into gun range and actually engage it properly. Oh, there we go. So we're getting our chance. Let's get one more round off in smoke. Because it is already pretty damaged. Oh, that guy's damaged too. Come on, smoke, smoke, smoke. It's going to be too late. Oh my god, he survived somehow. Just like that, almost just like that, our tank strength is down oh, by a lot. We got tanks run into the repair shop. Oh, nice! We got the enemy. Uh, we got the enemy command vehicle. I didn't even notice that. That is perfect. Move those guys back. These guys back out. Let's get some recon here to view up this, the inside of this sector area. And these guys don't need to be here anymore. In fact, uh, yeah. Oh, too bad. We lost that T-80 there. Wait, what destroyed it? Is there enemy infantry in the woods? Who knows? Oh, I think it's probably that Kiowa there. Yeah, with the Hellfires. Okay, this guy is empty. We redeploy him. Not really seeing anything concentrated enough that the Burrotinos are really necessary right now. I can't give them another salvo after this, so I don't want to waste them. Well, we patiently wait. Uh, fortunately, those uh, tanks there were all managed to be repaired. Let's move this guy up here just to troll. Move our pair of T-80BVs up as our main frontline force. I don't like deploying the T-80Us right at the beginning of the match just because it's your best tank and that's usually when the enemy has HTF planes ready to go. But near the end of the match is when I find it's the best time to deploy an unkillable best quality tank because usually the enemy stuff that they have left is the bad stuff and you've got your good stuff. So we'll see how well that theory holds up. It does not always hold up, but um, we'll, pull, we'll, we'll probably bring these up soon. The enemy is just ineffectually nice. You know, War Dog has uh, an AI screening his front, so that's helping him out. We 
they still got these DMPs here. Just it's just they're not ready. Like there's nothing they could do. If they try to engage here, they would just get knocked out. Like the tanks can actually take an L. Like they can take a hit and survive. Those DMPs cannot. Okay, let's pull back. The mortars. We, these guys just need to hook around and get this infantry into the game. Uh, and War Dog is playing the Ter Terkdo, Territorial Commando Division, so I just don't see him running out of infantry. Although this late in the game, he probably is. We don't really have time, but ideally, you've got to take this side and start crushing around here. And once you can get this and get this prong going, <laughs> then the enemy in the town... Oh my gosh, excuse me, my voice is like just dying. <clears throat> At that point, the enemy in the town is screwed, and then you can move tanks up the middle and just destroy everything. So let's get recon out just so that we can see what's going on. And I'm going to do a little bit of a risky strat, move the Tunguska up really close. And we have another one, so we'll just replace, just do a one-for-one -one replacement. We've also got our Strelas, so let's not forget about that. Covering this open ground, not sure about the situation here. Oh my goodness, that is interesting. Okay. Lots of helis, lots of helis here. Alright, you guys just pump away at those AGTMs at range. That's fine by me. Look at all these empty, uh, all these empty supply vehicles and all this empty artillery. It's crazy. Oh, these guys, I never told them to fire. These guys aren't empty. Okay. All right, we'll get some artillery fire going in the last couple minutes of the match here. <laughs> and Red Not Dead, also obviously a human, so watch out for him. Okay, we, we're going to move these here, I think, and move this up onto the hill. That's how we're going to play this. Sucks. These Bradleys just stun locking our guys up too fast to do anything about. Come on. There we go. Get those uh, RPG hits on to the enemy. Missouri. Do your best there. I guess we'll get more recon out. We'll use two of these guys since the odds that we're going to lose one are pretty decent. Nice disguise. Tank blob. I'm doing something a little similar to me. Oh my god. This huge attack here. My goodness. Okay, that's it. We're actually gonna send the bombers now. For real. We're actually gonna do it. Okay, this Tunguska is literally wreaking havoc here on the hill. It's just running out of missiles, but it's not gonna run out of 30 mil. Let's pull it back though before that. Abrams actually destroys it, which it definitely will in a second. Okay, here come the bombers. Bombers are not very effective recently, but not really crazy worried about it. Oh, that wide curve of enemy territory. It's terrible. They are very heavy bombs, though. Um, good damage, so. Oh, there is. That's the enemy we were facing earlier. Let's get those guys repaired and rearmed. These guys repaired and rearmed. Let's actually try to move a heli over this and see what kind of opposition there is. Okay, these guys are actually almost full health, so. Just trying to get RPGs into those, uh, into those Bradleys. I thought it would have done more damage to the bombers, but they probably had great, great micro. Oh no, pull back, pull back, pull back. No, sir. Get you back. Get you back. Get these tanks going here. Get this guy back. Sheer insanity. Giant enemy push here. 
Let's get that guy smoked up. Hitting him from the flank. Okay, nice. We pretty much crushed that uh, little attack there. Perfect. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit of damage, so we'll get them repaired. And logistically, there goes our last truck. And these guys are just sitting there, kind of waiting to be used, so... We'll go ahead and unload some firepower here. Under what I think might be an important area. We'll try those two out for size and see what they can find. Ooh, I forgot about these guys here. These guys are kind of like having bonus infantry, really. Bonk. We have, let me tell you, we have taken a bloody toll of enemy aircraft this game, I feel like. I feel like we've just been absolutely shredding them. Oh no, don't resupply, don't resupply. Okay, I don't know what's back there, but we may as well fire off the salvo. And then we'll pull back. Well, actually, he's got four rounds left, so technically I really should leave him in play. Because I accidentally used that, so whatever. We're about to hit that. I'm going to literally say incoming. Like, they should not advance here. I'm about to hit that really hard with that Buratino. Yes, this is actually a very fun game. Okay, let's see what I can find here with these guys. Actually, kind of effective there. I think we'll run our SEAT aircraft over this and see what we can find. Nice. Total destruction of whatever is over there. And we'll pull that back for good. This guy is out. We'll pull him back. This guy is almost out. But he needs to repair those more than he needs to uh, get these missiles up and running. Okay, we'll just set it to fire there. His last four missiles. <laughs> oh, look, we almost... We didn't forget about him this time. Although I almost did. Okay, didn't quite get anything. That's okay. I'm surprised that all of our aircraft survived that bombing run on this side. That's pretty fortu fortuitous. There we go. Let's get those guys. Last guys up and running. We'll pull them back because I can't be supplying all of this guy's stuff too. I just don't have any more supply left. And this is like bringing every card, so I really hope that they decide to bring more cards and this stuff in the future. Good hit, good hit. Classic. You. Come on, man. Quit trying to mooch off of me, bro. I'm already having a hard enough time. I'm almost out of supplies, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, is the, the CN missiles on? Oh, but it was not going for it. Okay. Oh, let's pick up these last two tanks here, just because they're fresh, so you don't have to repair them. Those guys. What air defense doing? Oh, okay. I see. Bombing that command vehicle. Yes, that does make sense. That guy's out of missiles and I'm out of supplies, so we missile just pull him back. Let's try to get that house there and just see what what happens. Oh, we're spending the last minutes just filling the air with missiles, taking out every last thing that we possibly can. Let's move this tank up so we don't suffer the counter battery effects as we shoot off our last f four singular rounds. Get some good rounds into those mechanized rifles, lovely. And look at this, we ended, we still have plenty of tanks. We did not lose many. But we still have plenty, which is nice. 
Okay, Pertino, you're done. Good job, buddy. You did good. Okay, awesome. We have so our allies secure, uh, succeeded in cutting this road here, which is beautiful. Uh, we should be able to now move infantry up and freely take the fight into this town, which is awesome. And we'll move infantry across the open ground and see if they draw fire, although we don't really have time for that. And you go there, guys. Perfect. Yes, that was an amazing game. I guess we'll move that guy up on the hill to defend against any intrigue. Any silliness that they may attempt. Okay, we'll move those guys up to there. And uh, we've got a couple BMPs that we can use to cover the open space in this sector right there. Okay, so that was overall, that was just a great game. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say that was a great game. Uh, very intense, like I was hoping for. Full 60 minute uh, time period. Lots of heavy fighting in this uh, little sector here. So, let's get to see how it plans out for one more run. And you really got to see close in fighting, helicopter action. You know, and then uh, how you use your tanks out in the open here in that second half. So just a great demonstration of the division's abilities as a whole. And right, it's just too bad. These games end right as you tend to like break through the enemy's defenses. Okay, we're going to go in for the strafing run on the Apache. Can we do it? Oh, I don't think we're going to have time. We're, there's no way. Two seconds. Right as they're opening fire there. Oh! Right as we're shredding the Apache. Okay, so we got uh, almost 10k kills, and we suffered the least losses of anybody, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, it's not because we were playing very defensively or because we were in the rear areas or anything. Like, this division was in its element, slugging it out brutally on the front line, and we still got the least casualties just because we were able to drop in with helis. There were a couple of times where uh, War Dog's infantry on the left was kind of overrunning us at close quarters. Uh, like I said, this division just doesn't have great infantry. Uh, I mean, it has okay infantry, but it's just not the best to bring in. It's too expensive when they're all in BMPs. You can't really counter an infantry fight in Forest well. So it was just a good thing that we had those helis on hand, because they were able to just shoot those rockets right into the tree line and save the day, basically, because uh, we were on the verge of getting overrun. And then afterwards, on the open field, we just did a ton of damage here. Let's go ahead and look up. or I want to see who our most kills are. Obviously, the snap the most deployed uh 13.64 orders a minute so not crazy hectic but busy uh our highest scoring hero is a t80b not a bv so one of the lighter armored versions and still got lots of points uh there so our mi24 just wiped out here you can actually see this is mad war dog uh, war dogs opening here obviously got kind of shredded by us, just it was luck. That F4F that was strafing actually got nailed by the Igla, so never underestimate those on this play how it. Uh, and then just did did work for the rest of the game, basically. This is the most kills tank here. Uh, you know, no, I don't see anything really standing out. Just a lot of infantry kills, AA kills, light vehicle kills, small kills, but they add up, you know. He did get the Leopard 2A3. That, that did it for him. Uh, but mostly, a lot of small stuff, trucks, this stuff adds up, you know, a couple of light, you know, these aren't light tanks, but, you know, lighter style tanks. Uh, then, you know, we got our infantry here. I mean, pretty much everyone did great. The Tunguskas were busy. They were firing. All of our AA was very busy, just firing, 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 trying to keep all this enemy aircraft away from us. The uh, artillery on auto fire is not very effective, and you can tell because that... These artillery pieces expanded all their rounds, had no counter battery. This guy's got one Pioneer unit. This guy got one Panzer Grenadier. That's all our artillery did. That's it. <laughs> and we spend a lot on artillery. So if you buy artillery, I only did it to burn off extra points, but if you're going to use artillery, 
it's perfect complement for this division. You can use those Kavad's Vizkas or whatever you call them to nail toe two teams and buildings that are holding up your advance. Like advance, take fire, smoke, retreat, just put fire on it. Enemy can't do anything about it. You will kill their infantry. Um, so use the artillery to that. Don't do what I did and just randomly shoot them off into space, which, I mean, was fine. I'm sure it suppressed enemies and, and added to the chaos and the mental strain for them. But, I mean, obviously it's not really ideal. Uh, and then our Toss Buratino, you know, it's nice because you know the area is clear, but not that, I mean, not that many kills. That guy got these guys, and then did our other one. I assume our other one got something, unless that was really it. Let's go see. No, that's it. That's all the Burotinos did. So Burotinos are strong, but uh, even when firing into what should be a dense area, it doesn't always mean that they're going to really, uh, really put the hurt on the enemy. Um, so that was just a great game. Let's go ahead and see what we uh, lost here on this side. Let's go down, down, down. So here are our losses. Um, a Flieger Faust. That is so sad. We just totally didn't micro them. Just the single guy sat here, probably just knocked them both out. You know, it wasn't a pair of two guys. So that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> and then artillery, you know, was raining down, so did its fair share of damage. This guy definitely got some good hits in here. Um... But uh, nothing uh, stands out particularly that was just shredding my forces, you know. And they had, like, this M1 HA Abrams and stuff. But we, I mean, we fought several of these and lots of M1 Abrams. And you can see that none of them were managing to do a, none of them were managing to really do a lot of damage, uh, which is good because it means that our defenses were holding and they were effective. And, you know, we took out so many of those heavier tanks throughout the course of the match. I mean, let's go ahead and see. M1 HA there. M1 HA here. And that's just us. You know, our companions are actually firing an M1 A1 here. And M1 HA here. The Leopard 2A3 uh, leader unit. Uh, two M1 Abrams uh, CPs here. Another M1 Abrams here. And then obviously tons of Milans, but tank to tank, we fought plenty of tanks. Um, we definitely engaged plenty of armored tanks and uh, came out on top uh, regardless, which is obviously great. Um, so I hope that that kind of gave you an idea of how to use the division. You know, you kind of noticed that I use a tactic where I use tanks in pairs. I always use tanks in pairs. And uh, you just kind of scooch them forward. Let them fire. Once they take damage, smoke, pull them back. Replace it with another pair. Just cycle it out. If you have two pairs, you can have one forward, one back. You can move both forward at the same time. doesn't really matter. But uh, when they take fire, make sure to smoke. Don't stick it out. Don't try to get that last round off because it might get a kill. Just play it safe. Smoke, pull back. Come back a minute later, full strength, you know. And some people rage about this, like on the Discord and stuff. They're like, ah, oh, like... You know, it doesn't make any sense, and it's like, well, this is a video game, you know, <laughs> like, I'm not saying you should min-max, but that's just the most effective way to use your tanks, like, just to repair them. Don't just charge them in and let them get whittled down, or you're gonna lose. Um, and the tanks in particular of this division can really just sit back and just kind of plink away, because they have those anti-tank missiles. Now, you know, it totally ate away at our supply, because those supply trucks were coming up, the tanks hadn't used much main, like one or two rounds of main gun ammo, maybe four missiles and a little bit of fuel, and all that supply goes into refilling those super expensive missiles. Um, it will drain your supply like crazy just to be plinking them off at whatever target. But honestly, as you can see here, it works. Like just let them, just let, just let them shoot. Um, occasionally, if enemy tanks come into close range, it's a good idea, or if you're expecting close range, disable the missiles so that they're gunfighters. Turn the tanks into gunfighters. Use them like gunfighters. That is okay. But remember that NATO tanks will be better gunfighters. The, you know, your tanks have more, the Soviet tanks have more flexibility because of the missiles, but Leopards, Abrams, whatever, if it's a straight gun duel with equal points, they will always win. On the move, stationary, defensive, offensive, NATO tanks will literally rip you apart. Um, you just don't have enough armor. You don't have enough firepower. You can't stand up to them. You have to pull back. Um, but you can plink away with the missiles all day and you can take a hit or two and it's okay.
Um, so that's what I would advise you doing. I love playing NATO. I love charging into packed defenses. I love tearing them apart with Leopards and Abrams and Challengers. I love that. But um, you just you can't do that with the tanks. You gr you saw the advance was like a grind. It wasn't a blitzkrieg. I ground forward, ground up against any resistance. Totally broke it down. But over time, use the Burotinos to smash their positions. Infantry around the flanks. Tanks taking the center stage. But not using tanks alone or unsupported or charging in. Very careful, methodical, or pair when needed. And you can get just this crazy kill ratio and just totally frustrate the enemy into rage quitting. Which is awesome, obviously. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments if you learned something new or if you've had difficulties or like, you know, using this division in your own gameplay and what kind of uh, experiences you've had. And let me know, obviously my deck had a certain selection of units, but if you thought there was someone really slept on, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear how they could uh, possibly synergize uh, better with the division's overall gameplay. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, divisional guide. That's going to be all for today. This is your host, Star Gaming, signing off.